Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you had a good holiday. I know I did. Uh, so for this video, what I'm going to be showing is some of the basics for the EBA construction that came out with the 1.11 update. If you're one of my council players, I apologize. This doesn't really apply to you yet. Hopefully soon you guys will get the update. You can come on back here, check this out, pick up some tips. I'm just going to go over the basics. I am doing this live, so I'm going to say uh a lot probably. But away we go. So, construction. EVA construction was added in this last update. And what that does is lets you build an EVA. You can build in space, you can build on the planets. Uh, some quick things building on planets does have. Uh, Gravity does play into that, so you can't pick up the heavier parts, even if you can stow them. And what I'm going to show you is the craft that I built just the other day that was featured on official Kerbal Space Program websites. Uh, hashtag humblebrag. Actually, not humblebrag. You know what? I'm pretty proud of it because that was the fourth craft of mine that they featured on all their social medias. That's pretty awesome. And it's always stuff that... Uh, I mess around with it. Every time they post something of mine, I can, I can spend two weeks on this project, have this grand idea, <clears throat> and then they won't they won't post it. But if I'm just like, oh, you know what, I'm bored tonight, I'm going to build something wacky, then they're like, oh yeah, we're all over it. Anyways, you'll also see, if you're on council, you'll also see like I got some different lights that you don't have. Uh, that was also in the 1.11 update. But anywho, so this little craft I built, I made it so you could launch from the surface, approach a station. You know, we got a station with a broken solar panel. Uh, you can come up, you can attach to it using the claw here. And then uh, you can build without floating away. One of the big problems with this construction is if you're trying to build it in EVA without hanging on a ladder or being attached to what you're building on, you can shoot off into space, you can float away, it's a big hassle. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So, you know, first things first, you have a cargo button up here now. It'll show you whatever cargo container you have uh, attached to your craft. I'll show you the slots inside. The cargo container has uh, storage capacity, and that is in liters, shown in the value limit here. I think liters, I don't know. 24 inventory slots on this one. This one's the big one. This one I'm using right here is the smaller of the two. And that's my limit there. They also have even smaller ones. You got little ones you can throw on a rover. You're, now your backpack's in here, your uh, parachute. You can take your parachute off. You have a repair kit. You have an experiment kit. And just a couple other new lights. You'll also notice that your pods now have uh, storage capacity as well. So, you know, this one has 75, bigger the pod, more capacity, obviously. So this one has 200, three slots. So what we want to do is, looks like your cargo tab up here, it will show you the available slots you have. And you can just start going crazy with it. All the parts here have a packed volume. And that's what you'll use to kind of keep track of how much stuff you're putting in there. Uh, the bigger the part, obviously, the more volume it takes up because that's how it works. Um, what else have we got? Other tips, other tips. Good planning, good planning. So what I'm gonna, what I'm, I'm just gonna show you how this works. What I'll throw in here, I'll just throw some couple solar panels, you know, a battery. Say you set up a station and forgot batteries. This one here, for whatever reason, some of this stuff, okay, so like this. There's no, there's no capacity here. And it says construction parts only when you try to add it here, but it's still in the cargo tab. See how they, some of the stuff, they limit it down to what you can only put in a cargo pod. But some of the stuff on there still doesn't actually go in the cargo pod. So it's kind of kind of worthless. Maybe they'll fix it. You know, unless we can throw a light in there. Some of this stuff is stackable. So 
so you can stack a few on top of each other. And you can actually even fit some small engines on it in it if you have enough room. You can put that in there if you wanted to. So that's how that works, you know. Click on cargo, or step one, attach cargo pod. Step two, click on cargo, load your cargo, carry on like you normally would. This is the ship that I use to get it up there. I just threw this together. Let's launch. Clear the thing. Alright, so I took the liberty of loading a save that I had for us already on approach to my station up here. So the contents of this might be a little bit different, but it's kind of whatever. Uh, I will say the, the most important thing that I forgot to mention earlier is you must have an engineer to build in space. Uh, the engineer is the one that does all that. So let's open her up, see what's inside. A little craft in there. I'm gonna pop our engineer out. Go on a little spacewalk. To manually decouple, I don't put these on my staging. Switch craft. This is the station. I got Jeb out here floating around. Uh, there was a mishap. I might save him one day. Other than that, he can just. Oh, that wasn't good. All right, let's try that again. Uh, I've done this a few times. I never had that happen, so that was weird. your target when you want to stop run or uh, go prograde to your target point back toward your target go forward a little bit go ahead and flip backwards while you're waiting so now it's kind of underneath me a little bit It'll come to a stop again. Yeah, this is, uh, this new mod's, or not mod, uh, new update's pretty cool. So far I've managed to build, like, a rover on the moon. If you're gonna do that, I highly recommend you, uh, attach, like, a 
empty decoupler out here and build it on the decoupler because sometimes when you're trying to uh, build up against whatever you're on, like if you build it freestanding, there's a there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna smack it and it's just gonna like spin off into space. And uh, you can build from ladders and that's what, that's what I'm gonna do here because you absolutely want to build from ladders. And we're attached. So we're just gonna pop this guy off. You know what? I haven't actually checked to see if you can build from sitting. <clears throat> oh, no you can't. Uh, there's the icon that you used to do that is not over here. So you actually have to leave your seat. And that's why I built this with the ladder on the back. So now I'm on the back here. So if you click on this icon, this little hook here on the right, or you can hit I on your keyboard, it'll bring up, son of a bitch, this isn't the one that has things. Anyways, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on. I can reload this and do all that crap, but you don't really need it. Because another thing you can do while you're here is actually, you can move parts around that are already attached. So let's say... You can do with this. So you come up here, you know, you have all your parts loaded in your storage container. And you can build in space. You can you can rotate just like you could in the VAB. It's a little it's a little jankier. It doesn't work quite quite as well. You can't do symmetry. But you can uh, you can still do toggle snap. You can still see your center of uh, center of gravity, center of thrust, all that. Just attach that back to somewhere close to where I had it. You can also uh, move that without the thing being on, on it anymore. That's weird. But let me show you what happens if you try to build while uh, you're actually in EVA. So what's going to happen here? You're going to grab this. Now, see, I'm already kind of floating off. See how the ship started moving? Yeah, that's not good. You don't want that. And the big thing here is... If we undock... Well, if I undock, that thing's going to take off like crazy. Let's, let's sit back down. Let's take a seat. This is what happens when you do live videos. This one was kind of... Like, for what I'm doing, I couldn't really like, pre-record it and then do audio over it. So I'll just disarm. Off that thing goes. Off I go. That's fine. I don't need to be connected to that. From this just fine. Oh, she's happy about it. She, he, she. Alright, so here, here's why you don't do this in free floating. So if I take this off, then I reattach this. Chances are this thing's gonna take off from me. Yep, see? That's why you don't do it just in space, because this this will happen. I'm in a spot where I can get back, but still, it's, it is a hassle. Let's get back up here. I'll show you that again. that off, we'll attach it. I'm gonna shoot it with his laser. Okay, that time went better. Let's put this down here. See everything just kind of it floats away and it's just a pain. So I I highly recommend you if you're gonna do this put a ladder on your craft. 
Alright, if you're wondering what mods I'm using, uh, the texture here on the planet's Parallax. The uh, Starfield is Astronomer's Visual Pack. Everything else, I think, is Eve and Scatterer. Those are all my visual mods. I don't use part mods. I came from PS4, and if I'm building things for these tutorials, if you don't know already, I always try to keep it so, you know, anybody anybody that has the game can do it. Granted, if you're on console, you can't do the building here yet. Yet. I hope it's soon for you guys. Uh, if you don't know, the console updates are usually like three to six months behind the PC updates. But here we are in the moon. This is a little rover I actually built once I got here. And how I did that, and how I recommend it, is building it on a building it on a decoupler. Again, if you tried to build this on the surface, chances are, one, you're not going to be able to, you know, keep this suspended in the air like you could in the VAB. As soon as you place it, it's going to drop down to the surface. Plus, you run the risk of smacking this thing and it flying off into the sunset. So I just built it on a decoupler. I highly, highly recommend you do that. It makes life so much easier. Same deal here, you know, you can take this off. You know, if you wanted to, hey, let's just pack this up. Now this one here, this storage container, is that one right there. If I, if I jump over here, you'll see this other one pop up on the menu too. Oop, see, there it is. So you gotta, you gotta be close to it. That's why that EVA vehicle that I had is built the way it is, because if you're doing a station and you get one part done and you want to go down to the other end, you can just undock, move your little ship down there, and you're good to go. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing to bug out. I ran into this bug a while back. I forget, I forget how I did it. What I did to make it happen. Basically what happened was, is it wouldn't let me attach it, and it turned into a physical... Oh, I think I know how to do it. I think if I close this menu... Uh, maybe not. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Nope. So what was happening was, it wouldn't let me attach this piece, and then essentially it put it in the world, but on my cursor so I could then... Oh, there we go, see? Use it as a battering ram. And that's why, that is why I recommend you building on uh, like a decoupler or something because you don't want that to happen. But in summary, you know, you got to have an engineer. You got to have storage tanks to be able to put things on. You can look up here and you can see what I already have inside of this one. And away you go. I mean, it's pretty neat. I haven't really found uh, like uses for it yet, other than maybe you guys playing career mode need to repair something. I don't play career mode. I play sandbox. I just build goofy stuff. You've probably seen that. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Send me some ideas. What do you want to? What do you want to know how to do? Especially you council people. You know, like I said, I play stock. I don't. Uh, I don't use a lot of parts mods or anything. I use visual mods. Only that's about it. Vessel mover, things of that nature, just to make, you know, if I'm making a submarine, I don't want to drive it down to the ocean. But yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys are wanting to see. I'm always looking for new ideas. But again, uh, EBA construction, not the best. Like I said, I did it live. So I hope you learned something. If not, let me know. Thanks.